Okay, YouTube. I decided to do a little video. I got this staircase here, spiral staircase. Uh, it's pretty cool. Built in 1872. Been trying to take the seven layers of paint off of it with liquid stuff. I'm trying all the best rated stuff, you know, the non harsh, whatever. And finally, on these spindles, especially, uh, it's, you know, it's lead paint, so you can't really sand it. I just want to say I want to show you how I'm getting it off, but you have to be real careful, especially if you're not wearing a respirator. You have to make sure that you have your windows open. You have a fan upstairs in the one other bedroom there sucking air past me. I can feel the wind go by me, so all the fumes are rising up. And I've taken the smoke detector out of there because it instantly sets it off, but I've left the ones in the bedroom, so when they go off, then I really slow down. But this is quite the deal. And uh, here, I'm going to turn the uh, camera over to my wife and I'll show you how I'm getting this stuff off. If you look, I'll show you real quick. Hang on. Uh, if, as you can tell, I'm probably going to put one coat of stripper on this one. But it's basically, that one, you know, compared to these, that one's uh, very, very clean. These three here. But it's quite a project to get those that stuff out of there. First I bought, I just want to show you what I bought. I tried these plastic brushes off Amazon. They're okay. But, you know, and the little one problem is they start getting hot because you've really got to get this hot, you know. There's that one. The dude to use, I bought, you know, several, is this metal one. This is like a knife one. It's a little fatter than I thought, but it's still fairly narrow. It works excellent. I just want to show you that, that process. Here we go. I got the heat gun off Amazon. Make sure you have uh, your water hose set up outside. Five gallon bucket full of water up here. Spray bottle full of water. Because if you do set something on fire, you're going to need to, you're going to need to put it out. Okay. Here we go. I've got I've got it on high. First, I kind of I'll just do one of these harder areas here where all these round things are. I get it right on here and I'm going to go ahead and show you how I get this off. I don't even... I know it's got to start bubbling first. I go all the way around here. It's getting extremely hot right now. This has got maybe oh two or three layers of lead paint. A total of six or seven. We've already got I think an old brown layer off. There goes the uh, the smoke alarm in the bedroom. But I just wanted you to see this. It doesn't like the fumes coming off of here. I get it up underneath there too. And get down in here. You can see the paint two or three layers bubbling. Sometimes it's good to heat these bristles a little bit too, so you don't have cold bristles going into where you're that deep part there where you're trying to get that out. Now, I found out you can also take a putty knife and just kind of rub it sideways in there to try to get some of that out. Over here, peel some of that crap off. I'm gonna come over on this side. And please watch to the end of the video because uh, I want you to see how hot this thing is actually getting and how important it is to cool it off right away when you're done. I got it pretty hot. I kind of pushed away from it because I don't want all these hot things, you know, splashing in my eyes. I've got safety glasses on. If you've got one of these little hot things, I look up underneath there and see how I'm doing. Might as well check it now because it's so darn hot now you can get it out with just a little bit more heat. Okay, I'm going to come down here. Now down here you can actually take the, you'll see it start to bubble. The problem is i got several layers. I usually use this technique here. Scrape out that corner. And uh, I'm just going to show it right to the end here. Because I'm going to spray water on here. I want you to see how hot I've got all this because it looks fairly innocent. Uh, trust me, it's not. It's hot as could be. Sometimes I'll get a little bit of a layer out there. 
and then I heat it up pretty good because you got to get down in there deep because I don't want the cracks full of paint and they've painted so many times and there might be a little bit way down inside there you can see I've got it right on there I've got this thing set on high Now, since I can see quite a bit of white there, I might go ahead and scrape that out a tad with this putty knife and put this back on there. Hopefully I can get it out, but if not, that's pretty good actually. I'll keep to make sure the bristles are getting hot too, then I'll try to get it in there. Put down close to the bottom. Okay, what I wanted you to see was and then we'll be done here. I'm gonna shut the shut this off, and I got a spray bottle with water. I don't know if you can see the uh, steam coming off of that. You probably can. It's very very hot. You know you're at the point of setting the wood on fire. <laughs> so can't emphasize enough to keep water handy right around you. I already sprayed these down a couple times as I work. But anyway, I just wanted you to see that this heat gun works great. But have your uh, have your water set up, your eyeglasses on, plenty of ventilation. That's the only thing I've been able to use after layers and layers of that other stuff, you know, liquid. This seems to be able to do it and actually work. All right, bye-bye.